Diversion Audio. Last time on the Royals of Malibu. The reading of your father's will is next week. It was tied up in some legal red tape, but we're finally able to read it. I think you should be there. Okay, I'll be there. Callum Royal, you are a liar. You said you were going to marry me. You said we were going to have children. I don't recall those uh, those specific conversations. There's no such thing as taking it slow with the royals. You better end things with Reed before it's too late. That boy could walk all over you and you'd let him. I'm not gonna break your heart, Alice and Claire. Then I'm not going to break yours either, Reed Royal. You and Reed are a bad idea. The royals hurt people. Reed hurts people, he can't help it. Fuck you, fuck your threats. I told you, I'm gonna get you the money so you can drop the fucking tough guy act. Who is he talking to? Reed, what the fuck is going on? One note we should mention. This episode contains adult language and subject matter that may not be appropriate for younger audiences. Please take care in listening. You're gonna look so good tonight. Take some pics of me, please, so Tab can remember what a smoke show I am and not cheat on me with some bi-curious hoe. <laughs> Weren't you a bi-curious hoe at one point? Whose side are you on? <laughs> okay, stick your tits out. Mm, more. I don't have more tits. You gotta learn your ankles, babe. Okay, now give me a laugh. <laughs> yes, Slay, you look so good. <laughs> Okay, I took like 73 pics. Let me know if you want more. Holy fuck, I'm hot. Oh, should I edit out my pooch though? Bitch, you better not. Facetune is so 2018. Excuse me, I'm trying to study. Shut up, Easton, like you've ever studied before in your life. You're right, I'm a natural born genius. So are you two gonna have a pillow fight? Easton, come on, that joke is tired. Not to mention homophobic. To who? To Valerie. Oh, I didn't know you were gay, but I'm into it. Mm, such an ally. We're going dancing in Hollywood. You should come and bring your wallet. <laughs> Does Reed know you're going out drinking? Reed is not my keeper. Not even a courtesy pin drop? Scandalous. I don't know. Both of you just stay out of it. Excuse me, but if you two are banging in my house, I'm already in it. But yeah, I'm down to go out. I'll go put on my dancing shoes. Bye, Easton. Bye, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble in paradise? What? Why? No, everything's great. Except, well, everyone keeps telling me that Reed is basically going to stomp out my heart. Even his dad? Oh, Callum does not know. If he did, he would probably kill both of us. Yikes. Well, for what it's worth, I'm rooting for you two. You are? Sure. You'd make gorgeous, athletic babies with great abs. Oh my god. You are deranged. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, I feel a hand come from behind and wrap around my waist. Having fun without me? I recognize Reed's expensive cologne before I even turn around. My heart starts beating faster when he smiles at me and pulls me close. <laughs> Are you stalking me now? Maybe. I can't resist you. 
I pressed myself up against Reed, feeling the heat of him radiating through me, and we danced slower than the beat of the music. I'm so glad you came. Even though you didn't invite me? I guess I wanted to see you work for it a little. <laughs> I'll do whatever you want, Ella. I wrap my arms around his neck and he kisses me, long and slow and deep. I'm fucking melting. All the doubts and warnings from other people fade away. Ella! Hi! It's Val! Remember me? Your best friend? I I'm gonna go get us drinks. No, 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 no. Uh, let me. I got it. What a gentleman! Um, just a Coke for me, please. I'm DD tonight. Alright, I'll be right back. Thanks. Oh, girl, you like him! You're drooling! <gasps> Where? You. But holy shit, you're straight up digmatized. Your eyes are all on focus. Shut up. <laughs> well, don't let me hold you back. Go get your man. I'm um, gonna go help him carry the drinks. Mm -hmm. Dick Mouses can be dangerous. <laughs> I can't find Reed at the bar. Where the fuck did you go? Suddenly, I feel someone trying to grind on me. When I turn around, it's some rando. Um, no thank you. Hey, beautiful, dance with me. No. Just one song. Hey, be, uh. I said no. Ugh. So gross. Hey, did that guy just touch you? Yeah, hi. Where were you? Take these. Reed, I can't hold three drinks. I'll be right back. What are you talking about? It's fine, Reed, stop. Hey, hot shot. Come here, let me talk to you for a second. Reed, stop, stop. I said it's okay. What do you want? When she says no, it means no, okay? Rita's caught up to the random guy, and I can barely hear what they're saying over the music. You'll be shitting sideways for a week and a half. Rita! You better be able to fucking back that Don't, up. Don't! I said leave it alone! Let's go, then! Yeah, let's go! Let's go. Rita! No, no, shit, that's enough! All right, all right, it's okay, man, it's okay. I started it, you go ahead and kick me out. You're both out of here. Yeah, kick me out, it's fine. Sir, he won't do it again. This was just a huge misunderstanding. This way, boys. Go. Where are you taking him? Reed, this is freaking me out. It's okay. Just go find Easton. As Reed is dragged away, I scan the club, and I see Easton? He's getting hustled out back by two enormous shady-looking dudes. He looks even more scared than me. What the fuck did you do, Easton? Oh, I swear to God, one of these royals is gonna get himself killed. When I tell you I want my money today, I mean right the fuck now. Easton is cornered in the alleyway by those two huge dudes, and he looks terrified. What's going on here? Send the girl back inside. Alec, get out of here. Easton, what did you do? Your friend owes me money. Hmm? I told you, man, I got in some trouble last week, but, I, but I'll have it for you soon, really soon. What kind of man would I be if I let you slide, huh? Just, just take it easy, okay? We're all friends here. How much? Ella, stop. I said how much. Eight grand. I have it. In my car. I'll get it for you right now. <laughs> you fucking shitting me? I you wearing a wire or something? I'm serious. I have the money. Just don't hurt him. All right. Lead the way. Hey, keep your hands where I can see him. Don't be reaching in your pockets for anything, huh? I'm parked right over there. I'll pay you back. I... 
don't really care about that right now. I care about whether these guys are going to shoot you. I'm really sorry. I never wanted to drag you into this. Oh, oh hey, is this a slumber party? Huh? What are you whispering about? Hey, chill, man. Easton, shut the fuck up! <laughs> I like her. It's in my trunk. All right. Open it up. Hey, don't play with me or it's his ass. Eight grand. You can count it. Uh, don't worry. If it's short, we'll let Easton know. So are we good? We're good. For now. See you around, Richie Rich. Hey, pretty girl. Yeah? You shouldn't mess with guys like that. Guys that put you in harm's way. You shouldn't be scared of me. You should be scared of him. Thanks for the tip. It's Reed. Leave a message. Are you okay? No! No, I am not okay, Easton! I'm sorry, but you shouldn't have stepped in. What was going to happen to you if I didn't, huh? You'd be sleeping with the fishies? I don't know. And I was just supposed to let that happen. It's my problem, not yours. It is my problem! You and Reed are both my problems! God, what a mess. I just wanted to have a normal, fun night. I'm sorry, Ella. Save it. Hey. Oh, okay, there they are. Val, you broke Reed out of jail. Yeah, they took my fake, though. What the fuck were you thinking, Reed? Oh, shit, Ella's pissed. Hey, hey, it's cool. Security didn't even ban me from the club. Are you kidding me? Can we just go home, please? I call shotgun. You boys are in trouble anyway. I'm low-key good at this now. I should be a DJ. Ugh, this song is killing my buzz. Well, good thing this is your place. Bye. Don't be too hard on them. Bye, guys. Bye, Val. See you. Good night. Bye, Val. Love you. One of you has to sit in the front. I'm not your chauffeur. I think I need to lay down. I'll come up. <clears throat> Easton's passed out in the back, so I tell Reed what happened in the parking lot. I can tell he's upset, but he stays silent. Typical. Oh, God. Man, this hangover is gonna suck. Uh, see you two tomorrow. Oh, see you tomorrow. Bye, Easton. I'm so mad. I know. At both of you. I know. So, what the fuck was that? I'll talk to Easton, I swear. He's spiraling. Yeah, Easton needs therapy. Or rehab, but I was talking about you. You mean the fight? Yes, I mean the fight. You trying to jump some random guy just because he was being sleazy? Welcome to every bar everywhere. Well, you don't think he deserved it? Of course he deserved it. But you don't deserve all the problems you create for yourself when you lose control like that. I don't deserve it either. Our entire night got fucked. I just get so mad. You get triggered. Yeah, I guess. It's a trauma response. You get pissed and you just flip out. I know it feels like you can't help it, but... But it's not okay. It's dangerous, Reed. And it scares me. Okay, so you, you have to figure this out. It won't happen again. I don't know if I can believe you. Hey, you're important to me, Ella. I don't want to put you in danger. I want you to feel safe with me. <sighs> okay. I want to trust you. Even though I think I shouldn't. Come here. Let me make it up to you. Mm, yeah? Hmm. How? <laughs> <laughs>
Reed leans over and starts kissing my neck. You know, we haven't christened your new car yet. (laughs) (laughs) How come I can never stay mad at you? It's probably my charming and bubbly personality. (laughs) Oh, yeah, that must be it. (laughs) It's definitely not my abs. Or my jaw. Or your arms. Or your hands. My hands? These hands? (laughs) You have really good hands. You have strong hands. Mm, Get over here. (laughs) Reed pulls me on top, so I'm straddling him. Take this off. Now, please. And just like that, all my anger fades away. Reed, what are we gonna do about Easton? Please stop talking about my brother. Hey, you're gonna leave a hickey. (laughs) I like when you get shy. But as I melt into Reed again, I'm actually wondering what we're gonna do with him. Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Hoffman, and I'm representing Steve O'Halloran's last will and testament. Mr. Royal, Miss Ella O'Halloran. Sinclair. I'm Ella Sinclair. She didn't take her father's last name. Right. Well, you both can have a seat. We'll begin in a moment. Hey, don't be nervous. There's nothing to be nervous about, right? I mean, my dad didn't even know me. I'm only here for whatever legal reasons. Well, isn't this a cheerful little reunion? Dinah, Brooke, what are you doing here? I'm supporting my friend. I thought you two hated each other. Turns out we have a lot in common, actually. <clears throat> are we all gathered? Uh, yes. Unless there are any more of Stephen's illegitimate children, I should be expecting. That's enough, Dinah. <clears throat> I will now begin the reading of Steve O'Halloran's will. I, Steve O'Halloran, a resident of Malibu, California, declared this to be my Most of Steve's will is in boring legal jargon that has nothing to do with me. A bunch of adverse possession of the third party estate or interlocutors appeal the trustee's privity. But then several very boring minutes into the reading, I suddenly hear. All of Steve O'Halloran's assets will be left to Ella Sinclair. That I realize Steve left his entire estate liquid assets, stocks, property, and company shares to me. To me? This is ridiculous. Absolutely criminal. Steve left everything to me? That is correct, Ella. We'll be in touch soon to schedule the transfer of the assets. Callum, as her legal guardian, you'll need to accompany her for all meetings. Right. Callum, can we go now? Sure, we can leave. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Hoffman. And where do you think you're going? Dinah, calm down. I'm sorry, but your grievance is with Steve, not me. And definitely not with Ella. Oh, you're a wretch, Callum. I know you did this. You should respect Steve's wishes. It's not like you need the money. He never even met you. He never called you, wrote you. He never even mentioned your name. And yet he left everything to me. So I guess that says a lot about you. Oh, you conniving little brat! Enough! This way, Ella. Callum, don't you think you at least owe me a dinner to talk about everything? He doesn't owe you anything, Brooke. Not after this. I thought I could trust you. I'm going to sue all of you! She's fucking crazy. Dinah isn't used to not getting her way. What the lawyer said... Is that for real? It's legally binding. I'm 
a millionaire? You're a multi-millionaire, Ella. Everything will be held in a trust until you turn 18, and then there will likely be some stipulations so you don't spend it all at once. There may be a few lump sums over the years, and we'll want to discuss your ownership in the real estate firm. My head is spinning. Is this really happening? Anything you want in this world, you can have. Dinah will definitely be coming after me. These people think that being rich can give you whatever you want, but looking at what they've made of their lives, I'm not so sure I agree with them. Right now, I just want to go home. Okay. On the season finale of The Royals of Malibu. Holy shit, I'm rich now. And I have a boyfriend. This is a lot. Ella's life has forever changed. Again. First world problems much? Malibu actually kind of feels like home now. And I haven't had that in a really long time. A hundred million dollars will do that. But there's one more royal secret that Ella could have never expected. The old Ella didn't trust anyone. She was just waiting for people to lie to her or betray her. And even if Easton and Reed are lying, they wouldn't hurt me, right? Ella, is something wrong? Why don't you go ask your son? I tried so hard, but I just don't belong here. You won't believe how this season ends. Don't miss the next episode of The Royals of Malibu. The Royals of Malibu is a production of Diversion Audio in association with Pod People based on the book Paper Princess by Aaron Watt. Directed by Matt Sav. Written by Kiana Katiblu. Produced by Amy Machado, Emma DeMuth, and Jacob Bronstein. Production management by Ashton Carter. Story editing by Lindsay Plussard. Story development by Emma DeMuth and Jacob Bronstein. Editorial direction by Scott Waxman. Casting by Lindsay Plussard. Alex Vigmanis and Mayank Batter. Editing, sound design, and engineering by Morgan Foose and Michael Aquino. Dialogue editing by Adam Raimunda. Theme music by Eric Zeiler. Featuring the voices of Alyssa McKay as Ella, Zaria as Savannah, Chris Cafero as Reed, Nick Cafero as Easton, Armin Taylor as Callum. Francesca Agramonte as Valerie, Anna Rubinova as Brooke, Maura Vincent as Dinah, Stephanie Sherry as Lucy and Margaret Sinclair, and Kieran Reagan as David. Executive producers for Diversion Audio, Jacob Bronstein, Mark Francis, and Scott Waxman. Executive producers for Pod People, Rachel King and Matt Zav. Special thanks to Kimberly Brower, Jen Frederick, and L. Kennedy. Version Audio.